Every time you hear the same truth, you receive a new frequency of that truth, a completely new version of that truth. Because every truth and the frequency thereof is an eternal expansion like into the universe. Every moment of expansion, the wisdom that the 1111 teaches us is that every moment of expansion is harmonically converged with every other moment of expansion. When we are in the wisdom of the 1111 ascension, then we know that even as we are expanding in this now moment, that we are deliciously joined in and circled in with every other moment of expansion. Feel that, beloved. Feel that on the wings of this tomb. expansion. This expansion harmonically converged to the moment of expansion. Ascension is allowed rather than achieved because ascension is always there. And the 1111 brings us into that wisdom. 11 and 11 equals 22, which is the number of the human journey. The four numbers in 11, 11 crack the code of the tarot. Before the tarot cards were used as a tool for divination, they were a representation of the human journey stepping down from the celestial heights into human manifestation, tasting of forgetfulness, embarking upon the human journey, eventually coming back into the ascension awareness. Four numbers, one and one and one and one, 11, 11, four numbers. When we look at the way in which those four numbers crack the code of the tarot, we look at four cards. In the, in the tarot, there are 22 cards in the major arcana. The, the, the fool is key zero. And then we have key one through 21. So we want to take four of those cards we want to take the fool who takes the journey, the magician, which is the first step in the journey, and justice, which is the midpoint of the journey. But justice in truth is not J-U-S-T-I-C-E, which is just ice. True justice is J-U-S-T-I-S just is. True justice just is. It's not just ice, even though we have a justice, a justice system that quite often is a reflection of just ice. So cold, so aloof, so indifferent, so manipulating, so controlling. But we want to morph from the just ice to the just is which is the true justice. So the fool takes the journey. The magician is the first step in the journey. 
just is or justice is the midpoint of the journey and the world is the final step in the journey. When we take those four cards, we crack the code of the tarot. And those four cards are commensurate with 1111. If that's four digits representing those four cards, the fool, which is not fool in the literal sense of the term, but rather fool is likened to coyote, likened to hyoka, likened to the divine trickster that, that tricks us into enlightenment. So the fool steps off of the cliff. In that card, you see the fool steps off of the cliff down into manifestation. The first step in the journey is the magician. And the midpoint is justice or just is. And the final step is the world. When we take those four cards and we turn them into a sentence, we get the fool magician just is the world. Now, another way in which we tap into the magician component of who we are. Also, I want to say that in some decks, in some tarot decks, the world is called the universe. So we could say the fool magician just is the world. We could say the fool magician just is the universe. And that constitutes all of us. Oh, my beloved brother Metatron, my God, it's been a while. <laughs> I love you so much, brother man, brother King. So we're cracking the code here with the 1111, four digits. 1111 equals 22. 22 is a master number, number just as 11 is a master number. And another thing is that when we look at the number one, we use basically the same symbol to write the number one as well as the letter I. See, one and I, same vibration. One and I are sacredly synonymous. And imagination is the magician in action. See? When we imagine, we are engaging the magi that exist within us. Sometimes people say, oh, that was just your imagination. But imagination is the predecessor of all manifestations. Just like here, you and I are together. You're over there in your bodies, beloved. Here I am in my body. We are a crystallized experience of sacred exchange with each other. And yet it was the imagination expressed through intention, which is formless, the formless intention and the formless desire to circle in together here. Had we not the formless intention and the formless desire, we could not be together here, engaging with each other. The 1111 Ascension Code is also a frequency that teaches us that everything is occurring in the inner sanctum of our being. See, there you are on the screen of my life. Here I am on the screen of your life. See, I'm starring in your movie of life. You're starring in my movie of life. But just like when we go to the movie theater and see a movie, the movie is not really on, uh, on the screen. The movie is really in the projector, but projected onto the screen so that we could have an objective relationship with the movie. See, I'm having an objective relationship with you on the screen of my life starring in my movie, but who you really are is multifaceted cellular counterparts of soul expression and essence that exists within my being because I contain a cell for every man, woman, and child, for every angel and ascended master, for every ocean, mountain, and stream, for every 
mineral, plant, and animal for every elemental star and galaxy because I am the master soul and cell who is the microcosmic container of the macrocosmic all that is, just as you are the microcosmic container of the macrocosmic all that is. You are a soul in the body of the universe and the universe is a multifaceted cell in the body of your soul because the veils are thin when we are in the embrace of the 1111. Relationship in the intimate way with that truth is right now available to us. 1111. Ascension code. You see, when we think of the ascension, you know, every moment of, or let's say the moment of morphing into the fullness of the ascension is an eternal moment of simultaneously experiencing every being's ascension that is, was, or ever will be. Because there's never more than one being even though the one being has multitudinous versions of selfhood, see? So there is only one ascension, infinite, eternal, omnipresent, and multidimensionally expressed as a simultaneous reality of multifaceted, of the simultaneous reality of the multifaceted one being. Let me say that one more time. There is only one ascension, infinite, eternal, omnipresent, and multidimensionally expressed as a simultaneous reality of the multifaceted one being. You see, when we come into the fullness of the ascension into the fullness of the eternal remembrance of the infinite selfhood that we are. We are simultaneously aware of every other ascension that is, was, or ever will be. The 1111 is also uh, a resonance of the all that is. See, it represents the oneness of the wholeness of being, one standing equally by one, and one standing equally by every other one. Every one, along with every other one, come together to reveal one another to each other. I get to experience multitudinous versions of my own self by virtue of my relationship with you, who is an extension of the full-on reality of me, just like I am an extension of the full-on reality of you. This is the wisdom of the 1111. 